Hello students. In this video, I'll talk about how to put questions which are Likert type questions. Now, out of your 10 or 15 questions, at least more than 50%, let's say 70% of your questions need to be Likert type. Likert type questions are basically you're asking your participants to rate certain attitudes, emotions, or perspective on a scale of one to five. When there's a scale of one to five, where one means least important or least favorite, and the five means most important or most favorite or most significant, right? This is a Likert type question. When you have Likert type questions, you are getting a lot of quantitative data, numbers, and eventually for this assignment, you want to have maximum questions, which are giving you a lot of quantitative data, right? Um, yes. Some of your questions will be simply choosing the options, but, but if you want a lot of quantitative data, you want to have certain aspects such as attitudes, perspectives about your client or your problem. And you want your participants to rate these questions on a scale of one to five, right? In this case, the, um, the team, the survey team is asking the participants about um, how how do they find the social media of the Aggies, right? Uh, do they like the Instagram post? Do they like their website? Because eventually they want to ensure or they want to find out whether the Aggies need to improve their social media communication, right? So here I'm going to go ahead and put these Likert type questions um, on my on my questionnaire. Right, my question is right here. All right. So I want uh, like a type questions. I'm going to be saying add a new question, but I'm going to go ahead and choose a matrix table type question. Right. In this case, I have the question. I have the statements and I have my options. I can add multiple options here. So two, four. Um, all right. Uh, so it already says Likert, uh, allow only one answer, and I have more point scales, right? I'll show you, I'll show you only for, let's say, three statements. Uh, I won't put all because that would be taking too much time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and paste my question here. Um, I think it was here. I've pasted my question. Right on a scale of one to five, where one equals disagree and five equals agree, please respond to what extent you agree or disagree on the following aspects. I would say aspects or characteristics um, about the Aggies, about the Aggies' communication, right? Um, and I would say strongly disagree to strongly agree okay now I'm going to uh, give the first statement here I have seen or I see uh, the, the language that they have used is wrong um, I'm going to put that here and I'm going to say I read rather instead of see I read the or there I don't know why this is happening I read their Instagram posts and I don't know why it's not letting me give a space All right okay I want to go ahead and say point one which is strongly disagree all right strongly agree so it's automatically made uh, the options or given the options for me now uh, sometimes people don't really look at the text here so one good idea is to then do this okay when you do that you see you also get the number in here I think that was um, Let's say remote point scale, 
let me see if I can add those numbers in there one okay I don't think I need that there I can just do this there it means one okay I don't need this so remove point scale then I'm gonna point point sometimes so as I was saying people don't really like to read the options people just like to see the numbers I'm a very numbers person so I usually love to see the numbers so so one two three uh, strongly disagree I don't want this one remove scale point somewhat disagree there should be two three so strongly disagree somewhat disagree neither disagree or agree somewhat agree and I can just get rid of either this or this so remove this so strongly disagree somewhat disagree neither disagree neither agree disagree and I'm going to put number three here number four here and number five here right so now I have a like type scale in here number five in here right and then I'm going to be putting all the other state statements in here so these statements would be I like their website I like to comment on the Instagram posts I would make I would put all my Instagram related statements together and then jump on the website statements okay uh, this is a just a good way to organize your survey um, 